Ah, okay. Hello. So, today's video is going to be a pretty decently large video. I, d I haven't really checked the clips to see how large the video is going to be. But, this video is just going to be, um, just show all the spots that I've been able to find while I looked for the about the past three hours. No, three and a half hours. Yeah, I've done this video and it's taken me three and a half hours, so all the spots that I was able to find in the three and a half hours, like spots that I've seen on other people's channels that I've been able to find, or any spots that I find of my own, I'm just going to show those on all the maps that are in the current ranked playlist. So, if you like, if you appreciate me doing this, just drop a like or subscribe even. Subscribing really helps even if you put notifications on. I'd appreciate that. But, um, yeah, let's get into the video now. So, this first spot that I'm going to be showing, I should probably turn my mic volume down so it's not so cancerous. Okay, I hope that's fine. So this first um, spot I'm going to be showing is right here. It's very, very simple. Like, it's really simple. All you have to do is grab a shield, pick it up, and place it along this corner. I think it's best to do this one with a 3-speed, though. Now, there is this little crate that gets in your way, so, so if you have a teammate that can uh, just throw an impact or something at it so that you could stand, that'd be easier to do. But if you don't, then just stand on this corner, sprint onto the shield, and once you're on here, aim at the corner and walk up like so. Now, you see how incredibly easy that is? Now, you do get to see up there, you get to see a bit down there, you might even be able to spawn kill if you had an ACOG. <coughs> but, um, yeah, that might, no, I still have one more thing I could show in this room. That's solo, so then, if you didn't want to do stuff like that and you just want to be, you know, a normal player, then, you know, normal people, if they come up here, they'll just aim over there, they'll aim up there, then they'll know that it's safe, but what you can do is punch this and you could walk on here. And then if you wanted to stand up, you just had to st stand a bit forward. Now, as you can see, this area is kind of a bit overpowered because, um, the normal person knows or thinks you can't get over there, so then they'll get away. You'll get away with them staring at around this. They'll, they're never going to aim over there. Even if they do, you're going to be right there in that corner, so they won't be able to see you. Not unless they just enter and do that. If they drowned you. So yeah, that's going to be the first two spots, I suppose. Okay, so the second spot on this map will be located in the kids' dorms, and it is this one right here. They patched half of it, I believe, but you could still do it, just not the other half of it. So you're not able to get on the bed anymore, but you're able to get onto the dresser. As you see, I'm on the dresser, but yeah, I don't think it's possible to get on the bed anymore. This is as far as this one can go. And while I'm up here, I might as well show this one. This one's fairly simple. All you have to do is place a shield, vault up here, and you're up here, but I mean... Um, this one's sort of useful. I mean, if they know that you're here, then you're going to get killed. But if they don't know you're here, then you're not going to die. So yeah, that'll be it for this now, area. This is going to be the final, um, the final spot on the map Oregon. They patched a lot of the spots on this map, and that saddens me. But I mean, there's still other spots, but this is just like... I'm just talking about highlighting, or the highlight spots ones that are actually difficult that not everybody would know about and yeah that's this is basically it let's hope I don't die oof 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 okay so now we're on Oregon we're not Oregon that's a lie we're on Clubhouse but a uh, Clubhouse doesn't have much but it does have good ones so this first one is Oh, I forgot I didn't have that set to... Okay, just forget about what I said. Okay, so first one, we're going to want to place a shield around here, and you're just going to look around this location and press vault. Now, if they do see you up here on a drone, they will know that you're up here, and if you do move too much, they will also know that you're up here. But the idea of this one is more so being able to watch the back, than watching that way because the back, you know, people aren't gonna know that you're up here unless they 
notice you on a drone or something. Or if you fire at them and let them know that you're up here, they're like, hey, look at me, I'm up here. But, um, yeah, it's gonna be it for this spot. Let's go show some more interesting ones now. Okay, so in the garage, there is, um, let's see, there's about four possible spots you can do that, I mean, uh, that are, like, cool, I guess you would say. So you could get on this lamp light, or this light, which I will now show. So you just have to place a shield like this, vault over on the side, and then just sprint. You are required to be a 3 speed to get on here though. Now, you just look at the door, you know, or you could come over here and stare down there, but uh, the only way of getting off is not running down there, but I would suggest jumping off. Now, I will show one other spot in this area so I will say that you can get up there if you place your shield right here and then just simply vault on it but that sounds a little too simplistic so I'm just gonna let you figure that out on your own but um now this one that I'm about to show is also pretty simple but I'm just gonna show it just to show you that it's pretty easy so you just vault up here and you're up here in this corner but what you can do is also um you could stand on the shield and sprint towards the corner. Now this rarely works as you see. It rarely works. So I wouldn't suggest trying to do it too much because as you saw, look at my health. I've done it about like eight times and almost every time I've failed. Well actually that's a lie. Every time I've failed. But I do know that you can get up there still. Because they have not put anything in place to patch it. So they didn't make it any further. They didn't do anything to patch it. It's still possible to do. So let's get on to the Ooh, next spot. Hello, wee oui, wee, oui, ho ho. Okay, this next spot requires you to place a shield right here in the bar. And all you gotta do is vault up here and sprint around this like you see me. Like I sprint around it, I look to the right and then I look to the left. So you get the idea. So then you don't fall like that. You have to get on the shield and not like that. I guess this is good to show you guys how to sprint around something, despite me not knowing how clearly. Okay. I'm gonna mount and kill myself. Okay, so now what you wanna do is just come up here, make sure you have a shield placed against that wheel or somewhere around there, you know, the box or the wheel, pre preferably the wheel. Now just sprint around this machine, not like that, but like this, yeah like that, and once you're up here, run onto the shield, and then run onto the wheel, and you're just on this ledge that I pinged. So you can see over there, but I prefer to stay right here since you have more of a solid area to sit on. But you could uh, look at the window, you could look over there, but this would only be useful if people are coming in from that door or if they were coming in from that door because then if they are looking at that door they'd look around head height level which is just above the shield a bit so then unless you moved a ton they wouldn't notice you within the first second or so but if they came in through the window in the bar or over there you know you're probably out of luck so yeah let's get on to the next now one. this one is the one I'm gonna show you it is here in bedroom I haven't changed objectives, but um, all you want to do is make sure that a part of your shield lines up with that. So try to get it close, like around this location. And let's just check it. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty close to there. Now you just have to try to vault onto that over there, but mine seems to be a little too far to the right, or left I meant, so let's just push it a bit closer. Turn it this way a bit, and just dismiss that sound of puppers barking and make an attempt to vault. Okay, so this room I'm in, it is um bedroom, master bedroom, obviously. So, now what you want to do is just make sure that a part of your shield aligns with that right there. And to do that, just place a shield like so. You have to make sure that you're able to get up there by vaulting and you're able to get up there by vaulting. But, once you're able to get up here easily, then you just want to come to the edge like so and the pole is right there so you just want to aim around that location and you will get up here now this is a pretty cool one it still works and it's kinda of strange seeing as how overpowered this one is 
Like, if anybody enters the room from that window right there, usually they'll go prone and you'll be able to see their foot if they go prone. Or you can just do this and see them. But you can see that, and if anybody breaks open those walls, you see them first. You see them through this. Now, you can come over here. Like so. Okay, so now we're on consulate, and these ones I'm going to show you are pretty cool. So this first one, you're just going to place your shield right here, and I'm going to place it while turning to the right, because that just allows me to place it in an even better spot. If anybody wants to know how to do that, I do have another video I did on that, but if you stand on this corner, then you could see them entering the doorway, or if you're even right here, you could see out the doorway a bit. But I recommend you do this one as Rick, and if you do it as Rick, you're going to have to tilt the shield like I did using the trick. Because I don't think you're able to get up here easily without it. But another way you could do, or an easier way to do it as Rick, is place your shield right here simply, and vault up here, and just stand right here. You'll be able to see a bit of their head, like through a lot farther of an area. But you'll only be able to see their head, and if they decide to crouch, you won't be able to see them at all. Like, I'll change my outlines and turn that on right now, just so that you can see that he is standing. Oh no, he's crouching out. Okay, but yeah, that's it for that okay. one. Okay, so this one. It's nice if you have a hole there, but um, what you're going to do is come up here and aim for a vault sign. It's fairly simple, you don't even need a shield, so you can do this as literally anybody. So you can see all the way over to the stairs, which my teammate will go over to. They most of the time will not see you, not unless you're in like diamond extra plus plus league. That's the only time they'll see you, but people down there won't be able to see you, because I'll show you, I'll mark where my foot is. Wait, no, my foot would normally be around there, which is probably right there as you see he would not see me because somebody entering you see you cannot see the bullet that I shot and the bullet that I shot represents like the very farthest point of my gun that you would be able to see so if you entered from here you wouldn't be able to see that only if you knew they were there you would be able to see it see you're barely able to see his knee and that's because he's aiming at this door and you know, you just enter in like that, like so. Okay, okay. so one. now this is the final one that I'm going to be showing on this map. I think there's a few more on this map that I'm not showing, but I don't think they need to be shown. Because some of them are pretty basic. But as you saw, all, yeah, all I did was get on that shield and I vaulted up here. Let's just hope to god nobody kills me though. So, I believe there's a simpler way where you could just sprint at it and vault just like that. But, I mean, some people don't necessarily know how to do that so yeah let's go on to the next okay. map now so now we are on bank and now I'm gonna show you guys oh wait can we do this one anymore no we can't do that one easily anymore not with one person but um so there's one spot two th I think I'm gonna show three spots on main floor so all you want to do for this one is place a shield you're gonna want to manage to get on top somehow Okay, that's not an on top. Okay, she's gonna want to place a shield close to that. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get up onto it now. Really? No. Oh, well, now I feel very smart. So when you're up here, all you have to do is get on this shield, which is supposed to be right beside it. Okay, there. I fixed it. Did I? Did I really not? Okay, so once you're on top of the shield, just gonna want to sprint up here, and then you're up here. And then if you want to stand, you just have to drop into this corner and stand. This one's great if you're playing bomb, well, no, not really bomb, more so hostage, and you've got somebody entering through there. If they're entering through there, not so useful, but you could also see a bit over there, which would make it useful. But, um,. Now here's the second one I was going to show that's in this room, so you're just going to want to place your shield preferably this way. And once you're up, you're just going to want to come up here, oof, oof, okay, oof, just come up here and sprint up here, it's pretty simple. Okay, I think you want to shoot that first, I forgot to do that beforehand though. 
So up here, sprint, and you're up here. So now you get angle right there, they're not going to see you, and you could also see over in that direction also. Plus, you get to see over there. So yeah, that's it for this area. Now I'm going to go run over here, like I'm Sonic, and I'm going to show you the next one. This one is more of, um, if you know that they rush, like, every round, I would use this one, I guess. So then, once you're up here, you just press Vault, and you're up here. So if you go prone, they can still 100% see you from out there, which is why I don't suggest doing this one. But you can still see them from both of those windows, and... Yeah, there's still one spot in kitchen, but I think everybody knows how to get on top of the spot in kitchen all the way over there, so let's just get into the ones on the top floor. If okay, there are any. on top floor, I was only able to find one spot, but I will show a second one after this. Just a little bonus one, so you just want to vault on the shield like so. You're going to want to make sure that you land on that area. And once you're up here, just sit on top of this container and vault. It's that simple. It's pretty easy and, I mean, it's pretty effective too if you are defending CEO office because you can just shoot right here. And since you can see above the reinforcement, you can see a bit of the top if they decide to enter from um, repelling. So yeah, that's going to be it. I'm going to show the outside spot I was talking about now. So Now this one yeah, does require you to be outside. Like I was saying, but um... If you don't, if you want to do it just the sort of hard way, I wouldn't really call it hard, but you just climb up there. I don't think I'm going to show the easier way I was speaking of, but all you have to do is sprint up here and vault. And you're on the roof as a defender. Like, whoa, think of all the things you could do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But I mean, uh something else you can do is just place a shield and get up here if you're playing Michael Myers and the Michael Myers isn't that smart hopefully hopefully he isn't and then you get up here and if you have a teammate with an impact you know blow him up and you're mean playing I wonder if I can get over there probably not well yeah that'll be it for this map uh, yeah. okay we're on Shelly now so, this first one, all you have to do is throw an impact right there, and if my teammate understands me, he'll go into the corner. Yeah, and if you think about it, if you buy the Ella outfit that makes you completely black, then you're pretty damn hidden. And that's going to be the first spot, but the second spot is... I think you can get up there. All you have to do is place a shield here, but I'm not going to do this one because I didn't really try it beforehand, so I don't necessarily know if you're able to do it like 100%. But you are also able to get up here if you crouch and look right here. No, that was the wrong location, but I guess it works. But there is something up here that you do have to shoot to be able to get up here. And you will get a couple of kills if you have that pesky ash that decides to rush all the time because this is usually the one area that they'll rush if they spawn campfire and I will show you just a bonus one if you've never seen this one you could shoot open this and enter it like so okay I'm not, I'm not gonna do that one since there's clearly some problem with it and I don't want to do anything that will affect my recording but um let's go to the next spot okay, so there's only two spots left that I'm gonna show Wait, I think there's only one, but this one I'm pretty sure that everybody should know, or a lot of people should know at least. So all you have to do is vault on there, and once you're up there, you just vault on top of the fridge. It's pretty simple, but there's something on here that you have to knife or punch, or knife or shoot. But uh, the other one in which I was speaking of, where is it? Oh yeah, this one isn't all too um cool. I mean, it's right there, all you have to do is shoot two shelves above it and run on top of it, which apparently didn't happen so easily. Just run on top of this lamp and run on top of here. It's not that cool, it's not that useful either, but I guess I might as well show it since, I mean, I didn't show any on the top floor, so I might as well show this, but yeah, it's basically all there is on chalet that isn't exactly knowledge that everybody will know of. So let's get on okay, to the next so map. Now we are on Cafe Dostoevsky. Now there is like six spots on the main floor 
And this one that I'm doing, you do not need to have a shield for it. I think you can do it at a minimum of 2 speed if you're not using the shield. But all you have to do is just try to vault up here. And once you're up here, you know, you could just shoot open that once it's reinforced if you want. Or before it's reinforced if you want. And you could also shoot open that. I don't know if you're able to see onto the stairs if you do this. Oh, you are. Okay, yeah, that could be a direct counter to those pesky ashes that I always decide to do that when they rush. Now, there is also this one right here, which you can do just by placing a shield simply. It's the same exact thing as the one over there, except you just have to... Yeah, you saw the vault sign. Yeah, actually, I don't think I have to show that one. It seems a little useless anyway, that one. But you could also get onto this right here. You do not need a shield for this one, just like all the others except for maybe that last one I showed. This one all you have to do is get on the shield and look for the vault. I think I placed my shield pretty terribly though. So if I don't do it this time I just yeah I'm not gonna show that one. But then you can get up there and to do that I mean it's pretty simple. Just like that. And you're up here decently useful I guess if they if you have a castle blocking that window then it is but um now you can also get into this I think you can still do that but if you were to be able to do that still you just need to um place a shield here get on top of the shield and sprint on here now you're on this right here and if you do this you're a little bit more hidden it's not a terrible spot. I mean, you'd get the drop on them if they entered from there and there. You definitely would get the drop on them. But um, I guess I could show a spot for attacking. If you do manage to get that wall right there thermite, thermited, then what you could do is vault onto this using some method like so. And then you could just run on top of this corner. And any Ellas that decide to try to push you they wouldn't necessarily look in this corner, so you would get to kill any enemies that are trying to push you from this corner. So, um, yeah, let's go to the next floor now. Okay, so on second floor, there is only two spots that I'm going to show. I mean, the second one's pretty, like, common knowledge, but not a lot of people know about this corner to use. But this first one, all you want to do is place a shield right here, and you want to vault on top of it, like, while looking at this machinery. And once you're up here, just look for a vault around the corner. And you're up here. Now you can see down half, or you can see halfway down the hallway, and you can see over there a bit. And you can see over there, but usually you'll just use this if you're protecting a reading room and you decide to blow a hole like right here, because then if you have the left side reinforced and you have a hole right here, you'll be able to see into the entrance on northeast side of the reading room, which is pretty useful. So yeah, let's just go show the second spot that I was talking about that is in Reading Room. Now this one is pretty easy to do, you don't need a shield, all you have to do is just look for a vault sign around the corner. And you're in. I mean, I have gotten a few clutches, sort of, kind of clutches, I guess you can call it, because of this spot. Because they, they thought I was around this corner when they were entering in from that door, but they just ran past me just a bit, like they ran, they run and there until they notice you and then you get just a little bit of a drop on them. So yeah, let's go to the top floor now. I think there's only like one spot there. Okay, so there's only one spot upstairs that I found that was worth mentioning. And that is this one. All you want to do is place your shield against this, come on top of the shield, and sprint your way onto this lamp. Now if you have this here still, make sure you don't break it. Because if you do break it, it's going to be harder to do. So all you want to do is, once you're on the lamp, just vault up here like so. And when you are up here, just pretend that I don't have anti-aim on. Let's just pretend you didn't hear that either. Once you're up here, you got, um... You can see all the way over there. Just pretend. You pretend you're not seeing that. And then you could also watch over there. And over there, you know, literally anybody, anywhere in the room. But um, let's get on to the next area now, or map I should say. Hey, hello there, we are now on border. So this map, I think this one has a lot, as you can see, my friend's up there because of that shield, and I will show you just how to do that. 
So what you want to do is just come around this locker and look for a vault sign that would lead you to think that you're going to end up getting on top of this railing right here. But uh, So once you're up there, just aim for a vault on top of this locker. And now you're up here. So you could go prone right here if you want. I mean, hiding here is just enough. But I would recommend just hiding like this. I wouldn't recommend doing this as much. Just like hiding is enough. But if this isn't enough for you, then all you want to do is sprint over there. Not like that, but what I will be showing you in a second here. So you want to sprint over there just like this and drop onto the shield. And once you're on the shield, you can look for a vault sign like you just saw. Now, if I'm not able to find it, you will know that since I already saw it two times. Okay, yeah, but you get the idea. You vault up there and you're sitting up there and you get an angle where you could see it right there at the highest and you could also fall on top of that chair right there which isn't as useful but you get the idea you could see a bit over there when you're up there so okay, yeah let's so get to the this next spot, spot that I'm showing is right here and you do end up getting up there I do hope I'm able to do this one fast because um, there is g quite a couple things that you have to shoot like right there there's a clock you have to hit and I think you have to shoot the fan up there I don't really think that's a must but I got up there after I shot the fan but all you have to do is get up here like so just look for a vault sign make sure it is the correct type of vault sign though and once you're up here sprint onto the sink and try to push yourself up there now this is the part that's kind of hard to do like you have to be right there and you have to land on top of the garbage so that it would push you up here now once you're up here just sprint onto your shield that you already placed now this one, this part's a little harder, I may have to record this a different, or at a different time just to show you a clip of me getting up there. But um, all you have to do is look around the corner for a vault sign. Oh, actually, I got one. And yeah, well, you see that I'm up here. And yeah, you get to watch people that enter. See, he entered. He wouldn't necessarily see me too much, but he would still eventually notice after about a second like his reaction time would be delayed because he wouldn't be focused on this area so he'd kind of be surprised so that would give you about a second to react and you could also see over there too I shouldn't shoot that computer out I hope I didn't because I probably need to use that for a different clip but um, you could also shoot up the top corner which I will do and you can see into the other room over there, but I mean, that's going to be reinforced, so you won't be able to do anything with that. So, yeah, let's get on to the next spot now. And the next spot is pretty damn simple. It, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily consider it all too useless, but it definitely isn't one of the most useful spots. But it's not one of the most useless. So all you have to do is exactly what you saw me do. Just shoot out all the stuff on top of here, place a shield there, and they'll only think that you did that to prevent them from vaulting there, but no, they are wrong. Haha, <laughs> laugh at them, shoot this so that you can stand up. So yeah, let's get on to the next spot now. Okay, so now, wait, let me move my microphone. So now, there's two things you could do here. You could place a shield, like, right here, which I will now show, or you could place it right there, which could get you up there. But I'm going to show this one as the first spot. And you can just run over here and, as you see, giant ass vault sign for a really long time was showing up. I hope I could replicate it. I mean, it seemed like a really obvious vault. So, oh, yeah, see you there. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, wait, you know what? Ah, there, that's better. Now we're up here. You get to see over there over there if you go prone you can see out into the hall now let's show that second version of this that I was talking about you can place your shield here you could uh, pro uh, crouch vault and then sprint onto the shield and once you're on the shield just look for a vault sign not everyone works and once you're up here you know you're obviously up here so now you could get up there like I showed earlier, but 
I don't know if I'll be able to replicate that again at the current state because I punched that. Maybe that'll be the reason why I can't get up there, but yeah, you can get up there to get over, over there. And then once you're up there, you can see into the hall, you can see over there and in there, obviously. So yeah, let's get on to the next spot. And this one, I shot out the computer, so I won't be able to do now, but I'll do that later, I guess. Maybe. Possibly. Kill probably on. not. The next round started, so now I'll show you, but in case your teammate does break the computer and you want to get up here, I'll show you how to do that. All you have to do is place a shield there, but I'll show you that afterwards. So, once you're up here, you could break open this and vault through this if you wanted. Like, you could do that on attacking round if they're, if the hostage is there, whatnot. I usually do that if the computer's still up and I'll get a couple kills because of it. But what you could do is place your shield right here in this location and get on top of this computer and just drop under the computer and look for a vault sign. Now once you find that vault sign you are up here. You can end up dropping in between these two which I don't suggest you do like so because you're stuck in here and you're just probably going to be a pretty useless teammate since you're just going to end up getting spotted by a drone and then you know you're in here so then you're stuck but as you could probably guess you can get up there but if not you're just staying in here sad like I am so let's just um get on to the next spot now which is now going to be at the floor below me so now we are in tellers um, right below office and all you want to do for this one is just place your shield like so like get it so that it's just a bit in front of the biohazard container and just press the vault sign and you can get up here oh let's just hope that doesn't happen okay just um just you can get up here you just have to look for a vault sign that rarely ever appears unless like you just find it off the lucky side of you i guess but, um i might find it i don't think i'll show it though cuz it's very hard to find but you can if you just search up border spots. I guess you could find somebody that had a video of this up. But you have to look around this general area to find it. So, yeah, let's go on to the next spot now. Okay, well, I apologize for not showing how to get onto the... Or not showing me getting onto the last one. I spent, like, an entire five minutes trying to... Like, setting my sensitivities all to one to try to find the vault sign. But it just didn't show up for some reason. It showed up before I tried it, but... As you see from what I just did... You can get up there quite easily. Just place that, crouch, and then vault. So yeah, that's going to be it for the bottom floor, I think. Um, I'll just take a little quick look. And yeah, that honestly looks like that's going to be it for bottom, because they patched that. So yeah, let's get on to the next map now. Okay, so now we're here on this map. So to do this one, if you want to do it as like a, if you want to do it as like um at one speed, I don't think there, it's too often you can do it as one speed. But you want to make sure that you're a little bit to the left of this as a one speed, and place your shield because you're gonna need some space to run onto it and some space to run through it. So when you're on it, you're just gonna want to stand and vault. And as you can see, I'm kind of surprised this hasn't been patched, but I guess not. But you can see outside, you can see into the hallway. I don't think you can see down the stairs. Yeah, you can't see down the stairs, but you can see outside mostly. Most of the area that they're going to be peeking the tea room window from. And yeah, that's going to be it for this side of the building on the top floor. Well, this map's a very barren because I wasn't able to find that many um, spots that were mentionable or that were even worth mentioning in this video. But all you see is just run from there to here, and then you get on top of this keg, and I believe you can get on top of this. Yeah, you can. I don't believe you can go any farther than this because I think there's a barrier here stopping you, but I'm not entirely too sure. But um, you get the idea. To this one, you're up here. If you get somebody to throw an impact at it, you might be able to get over there. But I think you're able to get down there. Unless I was right that there's just a barrier. Yeah, I think I was right. So, yeah, let's get on to the next map that actually has stuff that you can do. Well, 
you dare not question what's wrong with the time up there because ultimately I will not have anything to tell you because I myself just know exactly what I did but um yeah if anybody wants a video on how to freeze the time ra or freeze the rounds time in custom games it's it doesn't sound too cool which is why I don't really want to make a video on it myself but if anybody actually wants that I could possibly make that eventually but yeah let's go on to stuff that's on close coastline now this is a pretty barren map so first thing I'm gonna show is something that everybody should know and that is entering into here now let's get on to some better spots like this one right here you could sit beside and people would um just to run past you. It's happened to me a couple times. So, yeah, let's get on to different spots now. More cooler ones. Okay, now I'm gonna say this once again. It's just like last map. This map's also pretty barren. I've not really been able to find any other spots that are worth putting on video. So there's this one right here where you can um somehow vault onto this, which for some reason isn't being as easy as it was before, but I mean, it would give you a slight drop on somebody. Like it would give you about maybe half a second faster than you would normally get to for somebody to or to kill somebody. Cause when they enter, and if they see you that far away, while that while being that high, it would just confuse them for a second and then it would just like bring them back to their senses and be like, whoa, well, that's a person, bang, bang, a bang, tiddly, tiddly, wink. Um, let's still not comment on the time that I did there. So, yeah, let's get on to the next map, the next and final okay. map. So now we are on the map theme park. So there is going to be two spots in the drug lab room that I'm showing you, so I'm pretty sure you're able to get on this biohazard container without a shield, but I haven't been able to find a way to, or an angle that you look at to do it, so I just use a shield to do it. But once you're up here, you can vault up here, and as you can imagine, kind of feels a bit cool to be up here, honestly. Well, I don't feel cool anymore, I'm not up there. But as you see, you can be up here, which can allow you to get an angle on that door, and a bit on that door, but you are a bit exposed to everything, but you still will get a bit of a drop, like a half a second drop. Now you could also get up, not on top of it, but you can get in it, which makes you completely stuck so that you cannot escape which is ultimately useless because if I saw somebody there I would probably snap to them pretty fastly pretty, pretty fast so let's get on to the next spot now okay so now this spot that I'm showing is in this room right here which is like in the hallway and then you just come here all you have to do is place a shield and once you place a shield just vault on top of this and just look for a vault sign which I apparently just like my last video that I made on this map I'm still bad at so once you're up here you could just run around up here as you wish and then um, yeah you're just basically up here but if we shoot open this door so that you can see you can prone in this corner so you could see just a bit out there and you might be able to get up there using the same exact thing which I will now try but I honestly don't have high hopes for it working yeah I know you can't do that just by how you place a shield so this next spot that I was going to show is located in this room right beside me it's decently useful I wouldn't give it decently I'd say it's pretty useless but for the sake of the video and showing you guys all what the spots you can do on this map are you just place a shield there vault on that and come up here well, when you're up here you can just go in between if you wish or you could just place another shield there or you could place a shield there instead to vault on there to get up here But yes that'll be it for this general area now let's go on to the next okay area. so now this next um spot i'm showing is right beside the haunted wait, what's that called haunted dining room all you have to do is sprint in this direction place your shield here 
and you can just as easy as that get up here so come on this cocaine stack and vault on here now you can see people if they enter there and you have this little box of string blocking them from seeing you too easily but if you go prone you can also see a bit over there and this spot is overall just slightly useful if they decide to come out through that area and don't decide to drone you so yeah let's um, go on to the next spot which I believe is going to be upstairs okay now this next spot is located here in the rail platform and it is right here so all you have to do is place this shield and vault over the shield like so and let's just get up here fast so all you have to do is once you're on the shield just vault and vault and you're on top of the train now you could go over here which I usually do when I'm using this online I, I don't, I'm not necessarily saying you should do use it online but personally I actually do and it's not against any rules because it's not a glitch it is a spot so yeah let's go to the next spot okay well that last clip that I showed you was the final clip that I was going to show in this video so if you did like this video just drop a like or a dislike based on what you thought of any map that you liked I guess since I showed all the maps but if you want me to do a video on all the maps that I didn't do just leave a comment on that and I might end up doing that but um wow I've never actually looked out there before it looks pretty damn cool out there but um yeah that's gonna be it for this video so farewell